What is going on everybody? Ryan Rigged here taking over the Mystery Tackle Box channel today with my good man Fisherman Dad Jimmy behind the camera. We're going to be getting out here on White Rock Lake doing a 1v1 challenge spin rod versus bait caster rods only. So let's talk a little bit more about this challenge, dig into this box and get on out there and get at them. Me and Jimmy each have this month's Mystery Tackle Box, so we're going to be fishing the same exact lures, just using different reels. We'll talk more about the uh, 1v1 little competition here in a bit, but let's go and take a dive in, see what's in this month's box. First thing I see is the Lunker Hunter little jerk bait. That thing looks money and a great time of the year to throw this thing. A ton of shad in this pond, so this is going to be ideal for this location. We got ourselves a little mini crank on here. It's that chartreuse with that blue. Definitely will work really well too, especially with this nice uh, bluebird skies out here. And once again, that shad spawn. Uh, we got some spear point drop shot hooks it looks like yeah so that'll be good drop shot season all fall through winter you got to have it on there we got some ned baits kind of little uh contour worms these things look pretty damn juicy i'm not gonna lie uh we got some samitis baits these are the drop shot setups i guess they sent us this month some really nice green and uh looks like a green pumpkin gold flake a uh, little color in there and then on top of that we got some uh, drop shot weights compliments of shop carls looks like we also got a Jenko. Uh, lipless crankbait, one of the meanest in the game's compliments of Mystery Tackle Box. So each of us have our Mystery Tackle Boxes, each of us have our setups. I'm going to be using only spin rods today. Jimmy's going to be throwing nothing but bait casters. It might be a little bit harder for each of us depending on what we want to toss. Bait casters are one of those things that when you get out there it's a little bit more consistent, it's a little bit easier on the body, a little bit easier on the wrist. And uh, your spin uh, spin rods, these are going to be your finesse setups, your drop shot setups, your real easy, uh, easy peasy kind of stuff. So it might be a little bit easier for me to pick up on the stuff that's a little bit deeper in the water. So it will be kind of a fun competition but enough talking about it let's get out there and have some fun Alrighty, real quick guys, I did notice one thing different in my box from Jimmy's box, which is what I love about Mystery Talk Box. You're not always gonna get the same exact thing. It looks like we got some like creature craw baits. Um, so I'm gonna use these to my advantage. There's a lot of reeds and uh, structure up against the edges. So this will definitely help get up in there, maybe flip a jig. Introduce you to our guys, Fisherman Dad Jimmy real What's quick. Up, everybody? He is gonna be our competition for the day. So it's not necessarily, I would say, a uh, competition of most fish. It's just kinda get out here and have fun and see what works best. We'll talk more about it, you know, when we get out there and start fishing because there's just so much, uh, you know, difference between a spin rod and a bait caster. All right guys, real quick tell you about the setups that we got going on. We got that deep diving uh, jerk bait on the Guggen finesse rod. We also got a uh, little castic or castiac, whatever it is, uh, that mini little crank, that chartreuse one. It's gonna be on a medium, uh, or it's actually like a light setup. It is um, six pound floral on there. So we're rocking that really light. And then I got the uh, grass hero with that craw bait, just because once again, there is some structure, there is some reeds. So I do want something to kind of pitch and flip. Jimmy's gonna be rocking a uh, Texas rig. So we both have something that's similar that can work through grass and uh, we can flip and pitch so we're kind of keeping it even with that and then we got our drop shot set up that Midas little booger that thing looks beautiful I'm not gonna lie that might be our, uh, our money situation today um, water temperatures we are rocking 54 degrees we're in about seven feet of water so ideally the fish are gonna be in about 10 foot of water um, I don't see them being in the shallows really at all but we're definitely gonna put around this pond or this lake. This is our first time fishing here. So we got nothing to lose and uh, nothing but knowledge to gain. So let's get at it, man. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're gonna check the graph real quick, check the charts. Uh, six to seven feet. And there's a little inlet up here that gets to about one. So right here, it gets to about 16 feet. We're in about the eight foot zone. So there's good, there's good structure right here. There's some like structure underneath us. We can start flipping using those jerk baits. I'm sure start searching for fish. You know what I mean? This water is pretty, pretty dirty, man. It looked like it was like a carp or something, though. Like a gar. Yeah, I don't mind. Whatever we catch there. I mean, there's striper in this thing. The jerk bait, and then your lip clips. That's the thing about. Your, yeah. your thing versus me is like, look I can get the finesse, get far I, can get? I get the action. Oh look, I accidentally just ripped my lure out of the water. You did like a popper style. Yeah, I think it's wrapped around the hooks. Got a little spun up. That's the difference though between using a bait caster and a spin rod. Check out how far Jimmy can cast this with his bait caster in comparison to, look at that. Oh man, I would say easily twice my distance. Look, maybe like maybe, my spool, dude. <laughs> maybe three <laughs> times. That is insane. And then uh, me, let's see what happens. That wasn't that bad, bro. I kind of bombed it. I'd say you got about 25%, maybe 30% further than I did. Is 
that my lure? You hear that? Huh? Dude, that's so loud. Or is that what? That's so loud. <laughs> Hell, dude. You can hear it like out there. I guess swapping out and going with that uh, little small crank. Fishing shallow now, a little bit more shallow. We're in about five foot, five to seven. And uh, there's a lot of banks over here, a lot of shallow little reeds and logs and stumps. So you got to be careful with these cranks, but at the same time, you might be able to pull them out with something a little bit smaller, something a little bit brighter, something a little bit louder because this, uh, this is muddy. You gotta wear a uh, vessel. Got one? Mm, whatever it is, not fighting. I got something. Snag? Snag for sure, but. Oh, you got Dude. a beard. Well, guys, not what we're after, but. Um, we're looking to catch a buzz. We found it, man. A natty light. It looks like it's been in this lake for a while. I'm just going to pop it in the back of the boat so we can kind of clean up this lake. But not the species we're after. That thing looks damn disgusting. I'm going to be kind of upset if this gets stuff all over the boat. But we're going to clean up. We got a bag right here. Transition to the dock. See if there's anything over here besides some rusty old boats. See, that's the thing about bait casting and spin rod. This is not going to be easy to flip in areas compared to you. I'm going to have to like stop it so I don't hit the boat. It's insane that I'm flipping a crank into docks this, this well on a spin rod. Um, I don't know if I'll uh, be getting that one back, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Three words. I don't know how I just did that. Little pads like this where they park the jet skis and stuff, man. This is where the fish love to sit on. Oh, dude, I had a fish. Dude, I should have hit the hook. I thought it was that. Did you see it? Uh-uh. You didn't see the shadow? No. Oh my god, bro. That's a good sign. I told you they love those little black pads. Dude. Let's still give ourselves some potential. Fish these last little lines and see what happens after that. Oh my god, dude. Darted at it. I didn't even see. Dude. Flipping. That was a big one. Flipping reeds. There's big eight. Hit. There's eight pounders in here, bro. Dude, that was a big one, bro. I'm working that drop off a little bit differently. Oh, fish! Oh, there you go. I was like, is that a bag? What is that? <laughs> you got a flip one? I'm gonna have to. Go for it. There you go. Let's go. Let's take it. I was like, there's no way I can get that shorty in there. First fish of the day. Let's go. Take a look at that, guys. First fish of the day. Changed it up. It is really windy, really cold out here. I said chartreuse needs to get in the stained water, start picking the little guys out. Jimmy just lost one, and uh, it was right up here in the reeds. Said, let me try it out. Next thing you know, we got our first fish of the day. Spin rod, baby. It is one up compared to the baitcaster. Let's see if we can finish it strong. Woo. So that back deck good? All three of us How out there. Doing, doing good. Y'all doing all right? Yeah. Thank you. Oh. I don't know about big one, but it's a good one. Striper. Striper. Flip. Flip. Dude, that's a slab. <laughs> that's dinner. That's funny. <laughs> striper out of our, yeah, not a striper, a white bass. There, 
second fish of the day. Not really the species we're looking to target, but honestly, anything that'll bite, I will take. It has been pretty rough out here. As you can see, got some wind and uh, this weather is just not helping us. But that crankbait on the spin rod, guys, round number two, or fish number two completed. Let's go ahead and get it back in the water, though. Keep fishing. Quick in, quick out, man. Let's go. All right, everybody, that is gonna be it for today's video with FDJ getting out there doing the 1v1 challenge, uh, that spin rod versus baitcaster rod competition. Fortunately, the lake was just not you know, with us today. Uh, we did get a few bites. We did end up getting that one largemouth bass and that one white bass. Um, Jimmy swears he lost about like a two, three pounder out there. Dude, it was, it had to be. Hey, and yeah. then I ended up catching like a, a boat and a kayak. So I mean, if we're talking about big stuff, I mean, I already won that. So easily spin rods were the winner today, but that's just how it goes sometimes. You just can't beat these lakes, but it's fun to get out there, test them with new lures from Mystery Tackle Box and have some fun with your friend. So big shout out to our boy FDJ. Big shout out to Mystery Tackle Box. If you don't already know, you can use my code RyanR10. Save yourself on your monthly subscription. Get over to shopcarls.com. They're going to be leaving links below for you guys, but that's going to be it. Big shout out to Mr. Tackle Box for allowing us to take over the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.